Hey guys, on today's video, let's take a look at right here your Mac, your latest update. So, to run that, just go into the Apple logo on the top left hand side of your screen. You're gonna see that Apple logo, second option, system settings. And from here, you should see an update coming up on the left hand side. Now, let's say you don't. You guys can just go into general, software update, or another option to look for updates. Just go into search, typing update. From here, you guys can see software update, just tap on it. This should be popping up. Now, you guys can see how much it needs. So it only needs about three gigs. Do not just have three gigs. Your computer will get stuck if you only have three gigs and it actually runs the update. It's not gonna have space to actually install it. So make sure you guys have at least bare minimum six gigs if it's asking for three, okay? Always double the amount. Anyways, right now, all you guys have to do is just Press on update now, then tap on agree. Put in your passcode if you have one. Once you put in your passcode, it's gonna download. Download time does depend on your internet speed. So that said, for example, if you guys have really slow internet speed, this could take hours. If you guys have pretty decent internet speed, it'll take a couple minutes, seconds to download the update and it's just gonna install. To install, yes, it's gonna require to restart. So you guys could just leave your Mac to be. If you're not running any apps, any programs, that um, will stop the, it from restarting, it should restart by itself. I actually always suggest making an update, I mean making a backup before you guys head out to an update. However, this update's pretty small, so I wouldn't be scared of it. But regardless, if you guys do have Time Machine set up on your Mac, make sure to run that before. If you guys have no idea what Time Machine is, it's something already pre-installed on your Mac, I highly suggest setting that up. I do have a separate video for that. But as of now, just wait for it, it's gonna restart by itself and you're gonna be done with the update. All right, so if you left your Mac to be, it would have just restarted by itself. It would have given you a warning as long as you guys didn't have any programs open, it would have just restarted. You would have guys, you wouldn't see an Apple logo loading bar and then you would have been done. Anyways, at this point in time, you guys could go back into system settings and just check out that everything went okay. Just by checking out the latest update, you guys should see that you're all up to date. So right here, it should say latest update and you're all officially done. And that would be it for today's video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.